Okay, so in this study, actually, we reinforced mortar cubes with fly ash and carbon nanotubes with different percentages. Uh, so for fly ash, we actually replaced cement with 5, 10%, 25%, and 20% replacement. And uh, similarly, we replaced cement with different dosages of carbon nanotubes starting from 0 0.1 to 5 uh, to 0.5%. This was the percentage, uh, uh, total percentage of the volume replacement of uh, the cement. Uh, so apart from that, the optimum dosage of fly ash, which was 10%, that was independently added with different dosages of carbon nanotubes. So the result showed that the addition of 10% fly ash as an optimum dosage can increase the compressive strength by 21%, 17 and 80%. However, when we increase the dosage of fly ash, it can uh, reduce the compressive strength of uh, mortar cements. So apart from that, uh, the study shows that when we reinforce mortar with carbon nanotubes, it uh, even the small replacements of carbon nanotubes can enhance the compressive strength of uh, cement mortars uh, up to 12, 62, and 48 percent at 7, 28, and 90 days respectively. Uh, similarly, if we, uh, we study the uh, microstructural analysis and the properties of cement mortar that shows that uh, the mortar having carbon nanotubes have had better bonding with aggregates and uh, they have had a better bridge bridging effect. Uh, so the objective of this study and the problem uh, is uh, most of the buildings are subjected to high temperature and environmental changes. And that's why the building materials deteriorate and their mechanical properties become more dynamic. Uh, so there has been very limited studies on the use of these nanomaterials, especially the use of nanomaterials having the size less than 100 nanometer. So these materials have not been used so far for reinforcing mortars. That's why it's very important to uh, reinforce uh, a mortar, especially so that it could protect the building. So in this study, we use the materials such as cement, carbon nanotubes, fly ash, okay. along with fine aggregates. Uh, so as you can see the table of mixed proportion of the mortar mixtures we divided it into three different categories in the first one we actually replaced cement with uh, fly ash and secondly we replaced with carbon nanotubes and in third batch we added the optimum dosage of uh, uh, fly ash with different dosages of carbon nanotubes and the carbon nanotubes are very fine particles of actually carbon so we used a uh, sonication process to actually disperse them uh, uh, now let's move to the results and discussion the result shows that uh, when we replace cement with, 10, with different dosages of fly ash starting from 0 to 25 percent, we see that uh, the optimum dosage of fly ash was 10 percent, which increased the compressive strength up to 55 percent at 28 days. Uh, similarly, if we look at the second graph, figure 3, uh, the addition of CNTs, different dosage of CNTs has enhanced the compressive strength. However, the optimum dosage of CNTs was found to be 0 0.1 to 5 percent, which increased the compressive strength up to 62%, 30%, and 21% at 7, 28, and 90 days respectively. On the other hand, if you look at the figure 4, uh, where we added the optimum dosage of uh, fly ash in different dosages of carbon nanotubes, you can see that the optimum dosage of fly ash uh, of the sample was 0.25% uh, carbon nanotubes and 10% fly ash, which enhanced the compressive strength both at 28 and 90 days. On the other hand, we uh, saw that the microstructural study of uh, those samples uh, showed that those specimens having fly ash and carbon nanotubes actually have had better bridging and the matrix was uh, uh, bridged uh, by the bonding of carbon nanotubes and there was high amount of uh, hydration products as well. Uh, so from this study, uh, let's move to the conclusion that uh, the use of 10% fly ash is the optimum dosage that can increase the compressive strength up to 9, 21 and 35%. Similarly, uh, addition of uh, carbon nanotubes uh, can increase the compressive strength. Uh, how, uh, the addition of very small amount of carbon nanotubes, uh, that is the optimum dose, dosage, which is 0.1 to 5 percent, can increase the compressive strength up to 21, 27, and 29 percent respectively. So this behavior is actually due to the bridging action of carbon nanotubes, which is evident from the microstructural analysis as well. Uh, so one important uh, point that has to be mentioned is the mortars containing carbon nanotubes actually exhibited a higher strength, high early strength actually. However, the mortars uh, cubes containing fly ash, uh, uh, they enhance the compressive strength at 90 days. Uh, so this study shows that 
if we combine both fly ash and carbon nanotubes like if we add optimum dosage of fly ash which is 10 percent with 0.25 percent carbon nanotubes then it can also increase the mortar strength up to 8 32 and 21 percent so this is actually due to the bridging action however high dosages of carbon nanotubes uh, can lead to decrease in compressive strength that is due to agglomeration of aggregate agglomeration of fibers and also incomplete hydration reaction so from with this study we can conclude that have very small replacements of cement with carbon nanotubes and fly ash can actually improve the compressive strength and, and so that's why we can uh, practically reinforce mortar with these nanomaterials and that would help us to protect structures in extreme loadings and also uh, in extreme environmental conditions thank you very much if there is any question from the audience uh, please type a message to the doctor and so our next presenter is Abdul Mukhtar. Uh, the topic is performance evaluation of ambient cabinet query rock dust uh, incorporated geopolymer concrete beams. So please display your post. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.